According to BusinessInsider.com, Starbucks says it is finally going to block customers from watching porn in stores after years of pressure. Next year, 20, 2019, the coffee giant plans to introduce a new tool meant to prevent customers from viewing pornography or other explicit content in stores. While watching pornography is banned at Starbucks locations on paper, the chain does not have content blockers on its Wi-Fi service. To ensure the third place remains safe and welcome to all, we have identified a solution per to prevent this content from being viewed within our stores and we will begin introducing it to our U.S. locations in 2019, a Starbucks representative told Business Insider in an email on Wednesday. The rollout actually comes after years of pressure from the Internet Safety Organization, Enough is Enough. A petition from Enough is Enough calling for Starbucks to filter porn was signed by more than 26,000 people, people as of last Wednesday. Earlier this week, the CEO of Enough is Enough, Donna Rice Hughes, attacked Starbucks for not following through on a commitment it made in 2016 to block explicit websites. And she made she made a few very interesting comments regarding this and and the the importance of getting these filters in place. She said by breaking its commitment, Starbucks is keeping the doors wide open for convicted sex offenders and others to fly under the radar from law enforcement and use free public Wi-Fi services to access illegal content. She also said having unfiltered hotspots also allows children and teens to easily bypass filters and other parental control tools set up by their parents on their smartphones, tablets, and laptops. Donna Rice Hughes said she was thrilled that Starbucks said it was rolling out a solution, but she noted that the chain had lagged behind others including McDonald's, Subway, and Chick-fil-A that have had porn filters implemented since 2016 or earlier. She closed her statements with saying, People sit there for hours using the internet. They're known for this. Let's make it safe and secure. It's very, this is a surprise to me as, as a person, and I, I don't have anything against, you know, food chains or, or coffee chains such as Starbucks, but I didn't realize they didn't have a filter already in place for pornography, pornographic content. That's completely insane to me considering what Don Rice Hughes said which is people sit there for hours using the internet they're known for this so you should definitely make it safe and secure you don't want I mean c you can only imagine the 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 lashback from customers if someone you know walked behind someone and noticed what kind of stuff they were looking at that's completely ridiculous that people would still have that ability to freely browse the internet without any blocks in place we need we need to make sure that all public Wi-Fi, in my opinion, has some sort of filter on it. Otherwise, like she said, convicted sex offenders can, so to speak, fly under the radar from law enforcement and just go to free public Wi-Fi spots and continue to indulge in their sickening, illegal stuff. So, and, and not only that, but teens and children who are under parental supervision in terms of internet safety, they can just go to these public Wi-Fi spots too and, and, and completely disregard what, what their parents or parental guidance have in place for surfing on the internet. So I can only imagine if Starbucks said it wasn't going to do this. So we have to thank the CEO of Enough is Enough, Donna Rice Hughes, for actually bringing this to Starbucks attention again and it has clearly made news headlines and Starbucks is finally going to do something about it. It's just crazy to think that they didn't have something already in place considering I know that people have gone and, and do go to Starbucks to just relax and chill and use their internet. But to think they don't have anything in place to stop people from looking at porn is utterly insane and, and a very bad decision by Starbucks ultimately to let that slide for so long considering other places have already had filters in
place for this kind of thing. 